Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. It's L58, and uh, last we left off, we were uh, going through the high road, or yeah, and uh, we had stopped for a little rest, and uh, we found ourselves at uh, Ren's agency. Mr. Ren. Let's see. I think one of these guys was give me something. Hmm, maybe not. Okay. I thought somebody gave me a level one sphere thing. Uh, oh well. Okay. Um, let's see what they got. Anything good? Next battle or next uh, boss fight coming up uh, can be a little challenging. So just make sure that uh, you're ready to go. Just upgraded Orin's sword. Uh, won't help that much, but. Yeah, I got a ton of money to spend, so why not, right? Let's see, what is going on out here? Oh. Check it out. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? <laughs> Pretty. Sure is. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat Sin, right? <laughs> but then, a new Sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me. You are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does Sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah, was it using lots of machina or something? Oh, wait, was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Oh, such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. <laughs> you know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mmm. Ah. Oh. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. And you can't be thinking about where you're gonna go on that date. Because the minute you do, that's when you lose. You see, uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. 
The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. In Xanarkand? Uh, <sighs> she means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. Yuna, come back inside. You will go with us to Xanarkand? Yeah, I'll go. <gasps> I'll go to Xanarkand. To see it with my own eyes. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. Okay, well, now that that's over. Okay, yeah, there we go. One of these guys is gonna give it to me. Whoa, that sounded weird. Okay. Yes, level one key sphere. Perfect. Now we don't need instructions. Basically, you, if you look on the sphere grid, there are certain nodes that are locked. Here, let me try to show you with the Kamari. Um, we'll be using it for him. You know, you see these little locks that you know, stop you from getting whatever abilities you want. As you see, there's like four level four locks, so uh, you know, depending on which number you get depends on which lock you can unlock. Now, four can't unlock four level one nodes. It can only unlock a level four. So, I think I'm going to send him... I don't know if I want to send him Lulu, Lulu's or Waka's way. Uh, hmm. Typically, I send him Waka or or uh, Titus's way, but I think another mage would be pretty cool. I don't know. You guys have any uh, suggestions? Let me know and leave me a comment. Oh, Rin, sorry. Ah, forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in Albed. Oh, you're in Albed. Mm-hmm. I am Rin, owner of this establishment. Hello, do Huh? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, Heli do sad we to you too. Mm hmm. If you are interested, L bed primers can be found all over Spira. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Yeah, I hear I'll bed aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> A decky Chrisa. Ah! Someone help! The chocobos! That's our cue. Let's go. Huh? Oh, thank you for your help. Please, use this. Huh? To the Chocobo Corral.
All right, so cool. Yeah, we met Ren. He gave us a uh, another primer, and uh, we have found that fiend that uh, the Crusaders were talking about earlier. Uh, this fight can be challenging, like I was stating earlier in this episode. Uh, that's why I decided to save Lulu's uh, overdrive. Um, the the Chocobo Eater is weak to fire. It has about 10,000 HP. Now, you could just fight him. <coughs> excuse me. You could just fight him straight straightforward. Uh, and just try to take him out, uh, or you could try to knock him over and get some bonuses. I don't really care. You get like I think two more level one key spears. I don't really need it per se. Um, so I'm just gonna try to kill him. If I can knock him over, great. But I'm not gonna really try. So what really happens is you hit him enough times, he'll fall on his back, and if you can do 500 damage before he can get back up, you'll knock him. Um, another spot uh, on that side. Now, he will, after so many turns, push your team uh, back a spot, and if he pushes your team over, then you get kind of a, uh, <laughs> a look from Orn and uh, have to uh, run, uh, you have to take a longer way, which we'll eventually be checking out anyways, but we don't want that. We want to beat this guy because we don't get anything from getting pushed off the side. So uh, the strategy which I've been trying to get to is yeah uh, haste on Lulu, have her throw up fire, uh, you'll want a power hitter like uh, Oran or Kamari or Waka. You want Waka to, to be in there from time to time and put in dark attack which will lower the uh, attack percentage of the chocobo eater and then have uh, Oran use power break that way the hits aren't uh, doing so bad so keep Lulu in there I'd say also keep Oran in there and then just switch out periodically who you need between Titus, Waka and uh, uh, Kamari just make sure everyone gets a gets a move in so they can get the experience from uh, this fight He's like, I almost got him I really wanted to, I, I could. I mean, it's just as simple as keeping my power hitters in there and then just going to town, but eh, whatever. Fire! Yeah, I already got him halfway down. Cool. Yeah, since I can't really afford to put Yuna in right now because of haste. See? Haste too good. It looks like they could have sold him as a toy. Like, he's just, like, so massive and, like, I guess, marketable, <laughs> if that's a thing. <laughs> I like how he casts the spells when he's on his back. See, it seems like as soon as I get him here, like, he, he won't easily be knocked over. You know, you might want to run up and down the, uh, the road a little bit to, uh, to, to move your characters up a few spots on the sphere grid, that way this fight is a little bit easier to, to win if you want to get those treasures. But like I said, not very necessary. Just make sure that you're not embarrassed. You're embarrassedly thrown off one side. Yeah, that happened to me the first time I played this game. First time you usually make all those mistakes that, uh, that you don't want to admit to, you know? That's fine, though. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's not looking like it's gonna happen. Yeah, no. Not gonna happen anymore. He's almost dead. Oh, well. At least we're not gonna get knocked over. Oh, boy. Nope. Oh, one more. <laughs> but blizzard. <laughs> See? Easy. Easy peasy. And everyone gets a little experience. A little bit of money. All that good stuff.
Have you an interest in renting some chocobos? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. Cool. So yeah, we can get a uh, ride with the chocobos. Uh, I don't recommend doing that because when you're riding a chocobo, you don't uh, go into any random encounters. If this is your first time playing, I do recommend yeah not taking the chocobo and uh, and running, getting your uh, experience going and all that good stuff. Of course, heal up before we go. Yep. Okay. Ah. Let's see him. Let's see him. Yeah, I'll go this way. Okay. So looks like it. It's gonna be either Waka or Lulu. I guess I could always go back to. And I mean, there are also other spears later that we can get, like uh, return spears or teleport spears. Uh, that allow us to move. Teleport sphere allows you to go anywhere you want on the uh, sphere grid. So I could learn Lulu stuff and use a teleport sphere and move over to, you know, like Oron's stuff. So Kamari or whoever I want could be, you know, like a mage who is also powerful. Things like that. And uh, I think for now, maybe I'll have him go uh, Lulu's way. Yeah, we'll see. So, okay, we're gonna keep going on the roadway here, not take a chocobo, because there are a couple of goodies that we want to get, and uh, you might miss them if you don't uh, use uh, your feet. <laughs> oh, look at, look at all those crazy kids having a good time down there. Oh, well. If you are riding a chocobo, there are certain spots that you can uh, run off the beaten path. Uh, if you see a chocobo feather, your chocobo will just be able to uh, to jump. So eventually, we'll, like I said, go back and and get all those goodies. But for now, just gonna do our thing. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> fail! That poor nun. Never really liked her. She was never mean or anything. I just didn't like her. Okay, but let's go. Uh, let's go check her out because near her is the next primer right here. Yes. All right, we got I, sweet, and a random encounter that I decided not to edit out. I mean, it's it's the same stuff that we've been facing so far, so nothing really to worry about. Okay, what do I want to do here? Oh, I want him to get some experience. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah! Yeah, once your stats get up, it doesn't really matter what uh, those settings were. You know, if... Like, Kamari can, you know, kill the same enemies that Oron can, because he has piercing. And, uh... Titus, once his accuracy is up, he'll be able to hit flying creatures, too. So... Things to consider. It's really not the characters that are able to kill these enemies, it's more just the uh, the stats that they have, and since they started in certain spots of the sphere grid, they have those abilities. Excellent. Cool. It's very tempting to want to wanna, you know, go to the sphere grid after every level gain, but... Uh, it just takes too much time, I recommend, you know, get everyone up a level and then set them. Unless, like, they're gonna get a really good ability or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We are currently traveling a part of the Meehan High Road called the New Road. Naturally, that suggests that there is or was an old road. Normally, yes. So... With that, I mean, it, you look at the pathway down to our right, that's where we would have been if the uh, Chocobo Eater had uh, 
had pushed us off. No big deal. Like I said, we'll eventually go down there, um, because I believe there's a goodie or two down there. Pretty sure. It's worth a check, you know? Ah, these, these bombs. I don't know if I've mentioned these. These guys, after three attacks, if they're not killed, they'll just, uh, they'll self-destruct, which, um, is an ability that Kamari could learn, so I don't know if I showed that either, but if Kamari can use, if he uses Lancet on these guys, he'll learn another monster ability overdrive, so make sure you do that. Whoa there. That was some funky lag. Usually when that happens, my audio goes off and then it becomes a nightmare trying to fix, but ah, uh, thank god if that didn't happen. So for for this uh, for these enemies, recommend using either Waka, Oron, Kamari, or uh, Lulu uh, because they do enough damage to not make the uh, bombs want to self explode or self destruct. Because when they do that, it hurts a lot. And I mean like a lot a lot not just like a little a lot but like a lot a lot that's a scientific term too just saying getting everyone getting experience yeah and actually you know thinking about it yeah I should know what bombs are and what they do I mean it's it's yeah, they're like in almost every single Final Fantasy, it seems, and they always do the same thing. <laughs> Although I do like these designs, they're pretty cool. Finish them. There we go. Cool. We survived. Alright, and we're getting to a good stopping point up here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, is a, a battle with Sin, the Crusaders in Sin, which is a pretty cool idea. What do these kids have to say? Yeah, right. Oh, okay. Oh, and let's see. It's over here. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, if we want to ride a, a chocobo. No. Not right now. And look, oh, there's Donna. How many times do I have to tell uh oh, looks something. like she's not being allowed in. Sorry, uh oh. No <laughs> uh huh. Alright, folks. It's a good stopping point for me, so uh, next episode Sorry, we'll. Uh, We'll explore a little bit more of the high road, um, and hopefully uh, advance the storyline. Till then, this is L58 saying thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button. Show me that you care. And uh, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.